In an effort to get ahead of the dry, hot forecast, Missoula County fire officials have bumped the local fire danger rating to high. So far, western Montana has avoided the catalyst that can spark wildfires quickly. MTN meteorologist Russ Thomas reports. The story of our Montana wildfire season through Monday afternoon was so far so good. Hot and dry weather in recent weeks has left us on the brink of a wildfire outbreak. And lightning last night and today across parts of the state could be the beginning of a change. The overall fire potential is increasing. We've had two to three weeks of dry weather now with no rainfall, basically from the continental divide westward. And we are getting a little bit of lightning. Areas that are now of particular concern are those that have been hit the hardest with lightning over the last 24 hours, including a stretch between Great Falls and Helena and continuing from Helena to Bozeman. Another spot to watch is southwest Montana into Idaho as winds increase on Tuesday and Wednesday, spreading potential lightning-induced fire starts. Richmond says coming weeks in the near future are promising, but can't promise anything beyond that. I'm not expecting to see any real lightning potential after today for at least a week, if not longer, maybe a couple of weeks. It is possible we could have widespread lightning outbreaks and more ignitions in August at any time. Even eastern Montana, where rain has been more plentiful, has a reason for concern as growth quickly dries. The accumulation of grasses that will be drying and curing uh, as in the next few weeks will be very heavy and that's, uh, that can create very intense fire behavior. Now it is possible we could skate by this fire season without a peak if lightning stays away like it did in the very dry summer of 2013. Even then, humans will play a large role in determining what kind of fire season we ultimately have. People have to be very careful you know, in the woods with campfires and power equipment, lawn mowing, all those activities. So as we wait for Mother Nature to take her course over the next few weeks, we can at least be thankful that we haven't experienced the fast and furious start that we saw in 2017. And we can hope that any thunderstorms we do see will also provide a soaking rain, minimizing the concern that lightning brings. In Missoula, Russ Thomas, MTN News. All right, thank you much, Russ.